And when you get confused, just head back to the docs for Boto services. Everything in here for available services, in our case, we'll search for S3. This will have all the documentation for Boto 3, the Python, for interfacing with it. So we're going to copy the two basic ways of setting that up. This client will allow you to operate on any of these possible methods. And these should look very familiar to the S3 API that you saw in a command line interface, exact same operations. So we're going to go to list objects and they have a list objects V2. And we'll just copy the only one that's really required and that's bucket. And we'll go to our bucket name and we'll change it. And I forget again, the name. So I'm going to drop back to the CLI. <laughs> Just because I can't remember the bucket name, so it's my NASA bucket. Sounds great. And then we're going to capture that result of whatever that is, and it should look exactly like our other ones. Obviously, Python's going to wrap that in a body, but that's okay. So we'll just print the result out here. So we'll run Python main pi, hit enter, and you can see it's got the JSON response of our buckets and stuff. It's a bit hard to see here, but what we're really interested in is the key right here in the content. So again, you can see our, our files are listed there. 